the, the Waldorf. The client selected LW, we were uh, pitching, selected LW as we were able to talk about uh, how we could bring Islamic art and architecture to the modern world in a way that was meaningful, had an intellectual purpose, but was also very beautiful and very modern. Mm -hmm. So um, that was uh, something that I'm very proud of that we could. And then also taking the Waldorf brand, which Hilton have done a fantastic job of taking a legacy brand. We, we all know the Waldorf Astoria in New York. We all know that it's the, you know, the iconic ho uh, hotel there. And taking that brand and making it meaningful for tomorrow's generation. So our next generation of luxury consumers. It's always important to have one foot in the past and always looking future because to the future, we always take our past with us and how we celebrate that mm -hmm. and how that Waldorf name becomes hospitality and it becomes contemporary and it's still luxurious. And in, in this particular project in, in KL, we have a touch of, of beautiful Islamic patterning. Um, one of the key points of the Waldorf is the Waldorf clock. And uh, it was, for those that know, or for those that don't know, it was a clock that was given for the World Fair in New York, I think in the, I may get my dates wrong now, in sort of like 1870 or something, so please forgive me if I've got those dates wrong. And it was given by um, England at the time, the United Kingdom, to uh, the States as a symbol of the old world respecting the new world, because at the time America was up and coming and it was all yep. new. And the Waldorf clock sits in the center and it celebrates old and new coming together. So I, I do love that. And in the w and it's something that every Waldorf has. They have a clock that represents uh, and has a sense of place of each location. And in the Kuala Lumpur project, our client asked if we could reference um, something from the Islamic scholars, which is called an astrolabe. And the astrolabe was a, a device that was uh, created by the Islamic scholars in the 17th century and it was uh, a measuring device and it's how they discovered the earth was round and that we rotate around the sun mm -hmm. and they learned how to calculate distances and time and it's a, a wonderful device it's a circular plate and it has a series of um, markings on it and you l use the stars and you, you uh, can calculate distances so we've created a or we worked or we I should say the team created a fabulous modern Waldorf clock that embraces the idea of the astrolabe and timekeeping so old and new in this Waldorf project in KL and it's really such a beautiful uh, beautiful moment it is it is a, it is a it is a beautiful um, deeply thought uh, motive do you think that potential customers imagine me I go to the hotel do you think that they perceive uh, all of this research behind do, do, uh, that because I uh, to be frank I am not very familiar with the world of hotels uh, but do they make an effort in explaining this heritage yes. to the to the clients yes, yes they do <coughs> excuse me yes they do so um, three things uh, three or four things in the Waldorf that are key to the each Waldorf and that becomes part of the brand DNA and then that's explained to the guests and the Waldorf clock is also positioned in a, a, a very sort of visual focus or a very obvious place in the hotel lobby so you see it yep and then of course people go wow what is that and then of course the host will say oh this is our Waldorf clock it's iconic it celebrates old and new and etc so it's very much a talking point no no it's, it's beautiful and and now I understand why you chose this project thank you thank you for uh, for uh, for bringing it in um, it should be open soon uh, we're <coughs> the team are on site they're building we've done our mock-up room uh, they're on site, um, of hopefully, summer next year. All right. Yes. All right. I think uh, my company will have to uh, pay for a, for a couple of nights there, so I just yes. experience what, what you just uh, said, because it's, it's, I think it's important for people in the industry, across all professions and, uh, and roles, to, to, to be educated and to understand why people do things.